Hello ladies, it's Sweet Fit T checking in. Um, this morning I was up 0.8. Um, but you know guys, like what I think is happening, um, I think that, uh, you know, it would pounds and inches and you're doing a, a stair stepping, you know, where you lose and you, you know, kind of up and down and all over. Um, I just think that at this point it, I'm, it's being flushed out and sometimes when it's, it's burned and gathered uh, that's where you see the gains and then when the flush comes that's where you see the losses so this is supposed to happen um, Ricky was saying somebody said that their scale was broke and they wanted to go even doing pop I did pop the first two times I did this and I had gains I had losses I never gained more than a pound and a half maybe but um, never, you know, I still use makeup. I still use lotion. I use face primer. Um, I work with Aveda and, um, we have essential oils and we have, um, lotions and things that we have to give our clients, um, hand massages and stuff like that. So those are things that I have to do. Like I can't not, um, you know, do what I have to do at work because people expect that. So Anyways, I was sitting here, I was looking at my, um, my, uh, pound, well, this is the thing that the doctor gave me. And, uh, I put it in this, and this is all the, it's just got all this info and all this stuff in it, okay? Okay, well, I was reading. And, um, Sarah was concerned about a pickle that she had eaten the other night, and somebody was saying that it was salt or something like that. Um, this says right here, um, I take the opportunity to explain that we make no restriction in the use of salt and insist that the patients drink large quantities of water throughout the treatment. We are out to reduce abnormal fat and are not in the least interested in such illusionary weight losses as can be achieved by depriving the body of salt and by desiccating it which um i was like what the heck is that i had to like look it up and basically it means um uh, uh uh to uh remove moisture from something um it says though we allow the free use of salt the daily amount taken should be roughly the same as sudden increase will of course be followed by corresponding increase in weight as shown by the scale so um you know uh, this says an increase can be ignored provided that you know you stay on pop and so they know that you're like having increasing and increases another thing that they were talking about um which i couldn't find when i was looking at it but i did read it this morning it was saying that um uh um uh, interruption uh, they were talking about interruptions and this is a plateau the second type of interruption we call a plateau plateau lasts four to six days and frequently occurs during the second half of a full course particularly in patients that have been doing well and whose overall average of nearly a pound per effective injection has been maintained those who are losing more than the average, all have a plateau sooner or later. A plateau always corrects itself, but many patients who have become accustomed to a regular daily loss get unnecessarily worried. No amount of explanation convinces them that plateau does not mean they are no longer responding normally to treatment. In such cases, we consider it permissible for purely psychological reasons to break up the plateau. This can be done in two ways. One is a so-called apple day, and everyone knows what that is, right? Um, this says, you know, uh, during an apple day, no other food or liquids except plain water are allowed. Um, and of water, they may drink enough to quench an uncomfortable uncomfor thirst if eating an apple still leaves them thirsty. Most patients feel no need for water and are quite happy with six apples. Um, needless to say, um, so, and then the other way to break up the plateau was um, 
giving a non mercurial diuretic for one day. Uh, this is simpler for patient, but we prefer apple day as we sometimes find the diuretic is very effective on the following day. It may take two to three do days before the normal reduction is resumed. So, <clears throat> you know, it's giving us uh, advice on how to break these cycles, you know, because they happen. There was another one that um, was saying that, you know, um... I can't remember where it was. I just can't believe I can't find it now. Um, it was just saying that for there's some people out there that are um, not going to be able to not uh, eat off a of protocol. It was saying, you know, congressmen and um, people that are of like higher you know, stature or whatever, and they have lots of like meetings and conventions and things that they have to participate in. And rather than sitting there and explaining that you're on a diet and you can't eat certain things, they recommend, this book recommends that you eat little bits of that night and then you, and then in three days you, you know, will, will continue to lose weight. You know, it made no uh, it just says that, you know, don't let that happen too often, but you can do that. If you are going to have a planned interruption, it has to be 20 consecutive non-cheating days. You have to do it after that. Um, so it was, I don't know, it was pretty cool. I thought that maybe the, um, I thought that maybe the, uh, the um, whole salt thing was what would be good help for everybody you know <laughs> so anyways i didn't vlog earlier today because i was waiting to get home i forgot to take this with me and i uh i am uh, i forgot to take it with me so i didn't have anything to ride but anyways um so uh you know i, I think it was um oh I don't remember who, uh, I do remember, but I don't remember her name. I'm so sorry, but, um, you were talking about weight loss being emotional and, um, like I, I, when I was maintaining and I was working out like crazy, like kettlebell and just like crazy, crazy workout, um, sometimes I would push myself so hard. Like I'm one, like I can work out at home cause I don't need somebody yelling at me. I will push myself. Um, and I would get done and you know, this was when I was heavy too, but I guess, yeah, I mean, it would happen anytime. I remember doing Tybo and just, I would just start bawling my eyes out. I'd start crying. I would just be like, I just, I don't know. Just, it got, so overwhelming and so like emotional you know they say that muscle has memory and um when you're building and you're tearing down that's how you build muscle you gotta tear it down and then it it sort of like repairs itself kind of like a kind of like scar tissue and um when you are repairing that it releases emotion so um yeah, losing weight is very emotional. It's very, it gets to the point where it's scary. I was very heavy. And when I even got down to the weight I am now, I was uh, very, just kind of, I didn't realize that I sort of used my, my weight and my bigness to uh, protect me. You know, it was really, oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys my, it's Frankenstein, he's on a little rat pink motorcycle, his little clutch right there in his hand, he's got his little cape, you know, when he'd go out, he had to c cover himself, you know, yeah, he looks awesome, a couple of little tombstones there, and then this is what is in, on the other side. She's coming. She's waiting for him. She's getting ready. He's coming to pick her up for their date. Um, so, um, 
Anyways, um, I don't even remember what I was talking about. Just being emotional, you know, um, and just a lot of things happen. When you're really heavy, people in public don't just, like, start talking to you. Oh, no, it's really weird. And now people, some lady today asked me to grab her. She couldn't reach the bacon or whatever at the store, you know, like that when it happened, if I had been 300 pounds guaranteed. It's just weird, and unfortunately, it's just how our society is, um, and I don't think people will ever get over that, you know, so, um, but it's very emotional, it's an emotional ride, very emotional, I'm in a really good place right now, but I've been through this roller coaster, and it's going to come up again, you know, I mean, when I start my training, it's going to come up, so... I'm already at 10.45. Um, today is my day one of my next 23 days. Um, and um, I still don't have any expectations. And just reading that, you know, I know I'm going to plateau. I know for three or four days nothing is going to happen. And that's probably when I'll just stay pop, you know, just eat very strict those, you know, that whole time. And then that way you get the big whoosh at the end, you know. And so... Um, yeah, and also, um, I, okay, my husband had, well, my boyfriend has pneumonia, okay, my baby got bronchitis, we thought it was pneumonia, but yesterday they said it was bronchitis, and, uh, me and my other son were fine, I sent him to his dad so he doesn't get sick, so I'm living in this house with two, like, super, super ill <laughs> people, <laughs> They're already on their antibiotics or whatever, but I've been taking airborne um, and just kind of like trying to keep my um, immune system up right now. So I just, there was one that had like less than one gram of sugar, but there's five calories and like no carbs. So, I mean, I don't know, that could be a reason for my gain too, but I don't think it is. I just think that that's what the process is. That's what's happening is that's what the gain is, you know, um, but, um, yeah, he, uh, Dr. Simeon's called the gains artificially induced. And like I said, it's just literally we're burning these fat cells. They're going, being released into our bloodstream. And that's why water is so important because we got to flush it out. And, um, it, it's not the liver that's, or, or the liver is what's, really kind of pushing all of these little fat cells out. That's why drinking is just sort of really bad on it because, um, it just, it, it, your liver just isn't processing that sugar yet. Then you have your stall because it has to process the sugar and then it'll start burning fat again. So anyways, I'm already at 13 minutes, you guys. Um, oh, what did I say? Uh, yeah, that was it. That was all I had to say. So I hope everybody's having a good day. And um, sorry, I'm not commenting right now, but it's just like, ah, everything's sort of crazy. But I've been watching everybody, Felicia HG and um, Squeaker Girl. Um, uh, hi, and Ricky and Sarah, where are you? I didn't see you today, but your vlog might be on. And um, HCG. Uh, success with the HCG she had a really good vlog too and so all your girls are just awesome um, anyways ciao